In just minutes, you're able to bulk create content and designs such as this Instagram carousel format where we've got different tips up to 20 in this case. And you can see that it has different tips and different images as well. You can specify all of these as you please. This would at least take me 10 times longer by manually putting different images and different texts and whatever it is that I'm trying to create. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to do it using Canva. All right, the first thing you're going to need is obviously a Canva account. If you don't have a Canva account yet, you can use the link in the description box below. That will give you 30 days full use of Canva Pro, which you will need for this particular feature. And the feature that I'm talking about is called Canva's Bulk Create. And it's only available to Canva Pro, Teams, Education, and nonprofits and users of desktop devices only. The next thing you're going to want to do is to create your design that you want to bulk create. It could be any design. So if you're creating multiple ad assets, for instance, like Facebook ads, or if you're creating, let's say an invitation, where you've got your main design, but you want to replace it with your guest names and different other text fields and things like that, then that's what you want to first decide on. All right, so in this scenario and in this demo, what we're going to create is an Instagram carousel or multiple posts of those. So we can click on firstly create, and then you can search for whatever it is you want, such as invitations, uh, posters, advertisements, Facebook ads, whatever you choose, all right? So we're going to search for carousel in this example feel free to follow along and I'm specifically wanting to create an Instagram carousel. So that's the specifications in terms of dimensions. And I'll click once. That will open up a blank canvas. And then if you go to design under templates, you're free to choose one of the designs here. One thing to note is that some of these require a Canva Pro or paid account indicated with the crown icon right there. And this will at least give you a good starting ground if you don't want to create from scratch. The one that I used to demonstrate at the the beginning of this video was this one here and there are multiple designs here and what you can do is you can very well apply all of the designs and then that will apply it to all and you've got five different designs there and then what you can do is delete anything you do not want and keep the things that you do want so what I'm going to do is just quickly delete the elements that I do not wish to keep and this I will keep for my brand name and then I will align it to center and then once again, I'll just make sure it's aligned. I can see that the dimensions isn't taking up the entire canvas, but that can easily be fixed. But let's fix this first. And this will just be the tip. So let's say tip one, but in this design, I want to have it on top and then have the quote somewhere here, which I'll get to in a minute. Now, the image really doesn't matter yet because if you do want to bulk create and have different images, then really you can just place any image. So I'm gonna delete all of the layers involved and I'm just going to put any image for now. Since I've already got the images in the uploads, I'll just select uh, one of them. So this one here, I will then resize it to something like this. And I've already done all of that, as you can see. So my brand, of course, you replace it with your brand. The important thing to note is to make sure that it is an image indeed, not just a background because sometimes with Canva templates, it does have different layers such as a darker overlay on top or over that main image like this particular template, which is why you just want to insert the raw image. I do want to show it in the most simplest form, which is why I literally only have three elements. The image, tip number one, the heading, and then the quote, which will go here. So there are three particular elements. Now the next Next thing you're going to want to do is prepare all of your data to be inserted onto the design that you'll be bulk creating. So you can do this in various ways. You can use Canva's built-in sheets app right here. And then you can see that right here, which works seamlessly. Or you can use Google Docs, which you will also import. But in this demonstration, let's just use Canva's sheets and then click that. It works just like Excel and Google Sheets. Insert your data. So this could be the image and then this could be the tip and then the actual quote. So 
come up with all of your data. I've prepared mine beforehand, as you can see. And with the image in particular, what you can do is go to your uploads and then you insert it or upload more so your images first, and then you can drag and drop it. So let me delete this one, for example, and insert this right there. You can see it's purple and then drop it. Okay, so now Canva knows what to use in terms of the image asset. The rest is quite self-explanatory. You can see what they are. You've got tips one to 20 and also all of the quotes. What I've prepared are 20 motivational quotes. Next, go back to your main design. This is the, I would say the master template. And then what you're going to want to do is look for bulk create. If you've never used bulk create before, all you need to do is head to apps and then search for bulk create and click on enter and then you'll see the app bulk create it'll add it to your sidebar navigation click it once and because we have added our data in the fields in canvas sheets we can click once here it'll find the sheet that is in your account i'll click once this is what it's found we click on done now this is the important part connecting the right pieces to the right fields so let's start off with something easy the text i'm going to right click and then click on and find connect data and then find the specific field for that so it is tip hashtag right here and then for the actual quote again i will click on connect data find quote and you can see that it has connected because it is highlighted in purple the next thing is the image or any images that you have so I'll right click the actual image connect data and this time I will click on image and you can see all of them are now in purple, which means that it's now connected. I'll click on advanced options, ensuring that I just want one design instead of multiple designs. As you can see, 20 individual designs, which will be quite cluttered in your projects folder. But if you want to do that to organize it better, feel free to do that. But at least it does give you that option. And then you can name each page based on, let's say the original design name or the tip number. So I will go ahead and name each page using the tip number. Go back and then we're gonna click on continue now. Now it's asking which of the fields you wanna apply and I'll just select all of them. Click on generate 20 designs. This will take a few moments, a few seconds, but because I've already created it, I think it's sped things up as you can see. And now I can click on view design and voila it is now done you can see tip number one progress happens when you show up tip number two and you can see the image is now different it's used the specified image for tip number two different quotes as you can see different image goes on all the way to tip number 20 and then to save it all you can click on share click on download you want to make sure you choose the right file type for whatever purpose and wherever you're uploading it to in this case it is an Instagram carousel. So images will do, PNG will do. I wanna make sure I select all of the pages and then click on done and download. And right there, as you can see, 20 images, 20 tips, all ready to go. So pretty easy, pretty straightforward. The only time consuming part is actually preparing that sheet wherever you're creating it. But once that's done, it's fully automated using Canva Bulk Create. But there we go, friends. That's how you can save a heap of time and energy creating your designs and content. Thanks so much for watching. I'll leave up a couple of relevant videos for you to watch next. So one here and one here. I'll see you in those.